Hello and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, at Drayton Park Golf Club, and today I want to do a video talking through the short game game, par 18. This is a brilliant exercise to get you out of thinking about technique and more thinking about scoring. So it's actually working on everything really within 30 yards, chipping, pitching, bunker play, and you're going to be putting these out as well. It's a game that really a lot of the elite golfers, the tour players, are playing on a regular basis and trying to keep a score, trying to track progress. So what you're simply doing, you're going to have nine holes. Um, you're going to have three easy, three medium, and three hard. So an easy one might be more of a basic chip and run. Uh, a medium one may be a bunker shot, and a harder one may be perhaps a lob shot over a bunker or where you've got less green to work with, or, or perhaps from a slightly poorer lie, thicker rough. So three medium, three easy, three hard. And you actually play them out. So I'm going to hit the shot and then I'm going to go up and try and putt it out. I'm going to record my score before moving on to the next hole. So it's an incredibly tough game where each hole is a par two. Um, the tour players average 21 for this, okay? So three over is a, is a very acceptable score for an elite golfer. Uh, so that would be three times you're making uh, or taking three shots, and six times you're actually going, uh, getting up and down, so one shot chip pitch your putt, uh, sorry, chip pitch your bunker, and then one putt. Uh, so what I want you to do is perhaps play this game three times. What you could then do is work out a short game handicap, and then the, exactly the same way your handicap system works uh, when you're a member at a golf club, you can do the same thing here. So you could come down 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, or 0.4, depending on where your handicap is, what division you're at. And if you're over your buffer zone, you go up 0.1. So you use the same handicap system, the same Kongu system if you're in the UK, that you would use at your golf club, whatever that may be. And you can actually start to track progress. Uh, if you don't do that, at least write down the score and next time you do it, try and beat your score or beat your previous best. So it's a really good one to try and put some pressure onto it. So I've just laid down a few different cones. I'm going to hit a couple of different shots for you. I'm not going to play all nine holes, um, but uh, I'm just going to do a couple for you. So I've got one here, which I'm classing as a, a medium. Uh, I've got about 20 yards to the pin. Uh, I'm going uphill. I've got to land this ball around 12 paces and get that ball to release, to run out to the flag. So I've not gone for my most lofted wedge. I've gone for my gap wedge, my 52. I was between that and the pitching wedge. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and play this like a proper hole, looking at my landing area, going through my whole routine. Not the best strike, that one. Just caught it. Maybe just a touch heavy. And we're going to go up there. I'm going to put that one out and move on to the next hole. So I've left myself a little more, more work than I really wanted. I've got around 12 foot, 15 foot uphill braking a little bit right to left. So go ahead and actually finish off this hole until you've holed out that putt. So I've got a tough par putt to try and make here. just needed hitting so that's a, uh, a three that's a bogey for me so let's hope things get a little bit better let's go on to play one more hole right guys and on to the second hole of par 18 so I've given myself quite a tough one here so I'm pitching from the rough just dropped the ball got an okay lie uh, but it is a little bit wet. We've had a couple of days of rain, so it's a little bit soft underfoot. I've got about the same distance as my first shot, so 20 yards. Uh, but I've got to go over a bunker, over a ridge, and try and stop the ball pretty quickly. So this should be a tough shot here where I've short-sided myself and I need to really get that ball stopping a little bit quicker. Uh, so I'm going to go for my 58 degree, so my most lofted wedge. Again, play this out like you would play a proper hole, so practice swings, working out the shot. Takes around half an hour to play the game, but it's well worth it. Ooh, 
really happy with that one. Managed to get it flying over the bunker, stopping pretty quick. I think I've got a tapping putt for my uh, par there, so we'll go up and hit the putt. Right, so I'm really happy with that one. Hit that one uh, very close. So again, go ahead, you'd mark your ball, taking the flag out, doing everything I'd normally do. This one for my par. So a three on the first, a two on the second. I've got seven more holes to play. Again, uh, alternating between easy, medium, and hard. So you've got three of each. Keep your score, track your progress. It's a great game to work on your short game. I hope that video's helped. If it has, please check out all the other short game videos I've been doing. I'll put a couple of links to it in this one here. Um, and do follow us on all our other social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the details coming along the bottom of the screen. Thanks, guys.